without gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentagast, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just, uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Which one? You know exactly why I'm here. <clears throat> Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. <laughs> what do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. fight them sooner or later, then we make our stand here. Prepare yourself. We can't keep this up forever. Perhaps we'll be lucky, and they'll run out of Darkspawn. Here they come. Shall I deal with them? All yours, sister. That's not what really happened. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. Well, what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me! You knew her even before she became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where she is now. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to her, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. The Blight had been unleashed on Ferelden. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kaelin died on the field with his men, betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the Horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned, and many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family barely escaped in time.
I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. At least we're alive. That's no small feat. Yes. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at us? We've been running since Ostagar. Not to interrupt, but the Blight's not going to wait while we stand here pointing fingers. Please, listen to your sister. Then let's go. Lead on. Wait. Where are we going? Away from the Darkspawn. Where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. So long as we wander aimlessly away from the Horde, I'm happy. We can go to Kirkwall. Well, that wouldn't be my first choice. There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that. But we still have family there. And an estate. Ah. <sighs> Then we need to get to Guarin and take ship. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. Now we fight! Not while I breathe. Stop squirming, Wesley. You'll make it worse. Apostate, keep your distance. Well, the Maker has a sense of humor. <laughs> Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. The Spawn are clear in their intent, but a mage is always unknown. The Order dictates. Wesley. That woman is an apostate. The Order dictates. Dear, they saved us. The Maker understands. Of course. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. A strange time to be hunting apostates. His fellows left with the Chantry priests. I was traveling to Denerim on business for the Order, but I had to turn south when I heard of Ostagar. Bad luck and judgment brought us together here before the attack. The nice Templar has been convinced to postpone his hunt for illegal mages. So let's not dwell upon it, shall we? Wise girl. For a while it looked like we were the only ones to escape the Darkspawn. We aren't free of them yet. Just like at Ostigar, this is just the start. You were there. Yes, I see it now. Third Company, under Captain Varrell. Then you saw how the whole of the army was defeated. We fell to betrayal, not the Darkspawn. This arm of the Horde will not have the same advantage. You're quick to offer your allegiance. Another blade between us and the Darkspawn? Yes, please. So long as the Horde is their first concern. My duty is clear, but that is for another day. If we are granted that opportunity. We will be fine. We all will. The wrath of the Templars is terrible indeed. More so their wives. But as long as there is a greater danger, you and I have an accord. Thank you, Wesley. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped! The wilds are to the south, that's no way out. 
If the options are south or die, I'll take my chances with south. Sorry, mistress. Your son is gone. No. These things will not take Carver. Carver gave himself to save us. I don't want a hero. I want my son. How could you let him charge off like that? Your little brother. My little boy. Mother, we can't stay here. Carver wouldn't want his sacrifice to be meaningless. Allow me to commend your son's soul to the Maker, Mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young man a place at your side. Let us take comfort in the peace he has found in eternity. I will never forget you, Carver. Our lives are more valuable to him than our prayers. Let's go. Flames. We're too late. There's no end to them. got visitors to the wild, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. Impressive. Where'd you learn how to turn into a dragon? Perhaps I am a dragon. If so, count yourself lucky. The smell of burning darkspawn does nothing for the appetite. If you wish to flee the darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. Wait! You can't just leave us here! Can I not? I spotted the most curious sight. 
A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? You could show me that trick of yours. That looks useful. <laughs> if only a clever tongue was all one needed. Tell me, clever child, how do you intend to outrun the Blight? We need to get to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. Your king will not miss you, hmm? I'm sure he'll miss his life more. <laughs> oh, you I like. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight, and the world will shake before you. Is it fate or chance? I can never decide. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. There must be a catch. <laughs> there is always a catch. Life is a catch. I suggest you catch it while you can. Maybe we shouldn't trust her. I don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some call me that. Also Flemeth. Asha Bellinar. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? What is a Witch of the Wilds exactly? A chastened legend. Witches that steal children. Bah! As if I had nothing better to do. You're an apostate? Yes. Just like you. You would go through all that trouble to have something delivered. I have an appointment to keep. It is far more convenient this way. Happily, you are not without your own needs. How much trouble will this delivery be exactly? About as much trouble as my saving your lives, not five minutes ago. Good point. <laughs> if you knew my daughter, you'd know how seldom I hear that. Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the Darkspawn. If you need to, leave me behind. No. I said I would drag you out if I had to, and I meant it. Roast a few more, Darkspawn? I'll do anything you want. Sadly, my charity is at an end. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. No, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. What are you talking about? From the dark spawn. All that blood. I knew... when it happened. And how much time before you? Not long now. If I am any judge. This corruption is the permanent sort, I take it. The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostago? Not all, but the last are now beyond your reach. Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. He's your husband, Aveline. 
I can't decide his fate. Be strong, my love. Without an end, there can be no peace. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth! I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Long ago, it was part of the Imperium. Slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city. But I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows. Welcoming you. That's where their ship landed. With all the rest. 